degrees. Now, as we look at the current temperatures on the statewide map, 91 in the Dow's right now in Pendleton at 90 degrees. Salem, you were at 88, but right now at 87 and mostly sunny skies out towards the coast. So here's the planner for the rest of the evening. Around 81 degrees by 7 p.m. If you're headed out to the Bight of Oregon, it's going to be a clear night for you. 69 by 11 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, I think we're going to start off with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, but it gets hot in the afternoon. Temperatures jump to the lower 90s by 5 o'clock. So as we take a look at the latest satellite and radar, we're clear sunny up toward the north. A little bit of moisture coming into the southern parts of the state. A few lightning strikes. As we see that moisture increasing, and this is all ahead of an upper level low spinning right here that's going to pivot towards the north into California, and that is going to really increase our moisture in the next couple of days and the instability. And we have our chance of a few thunderstorms trying to make its way into the valley. But some good news if you're over the heat, we're going to see cooler temperatures moving in. If you look off well to see, you can see an upper level trough right here. This is going to pull in. Also, give us the chance for maybe a few showers lingering on Wednesday but it is going to bring some cooler temperatures. Now we still have red, uh, red flag warnings that will continue to be into effect through early next week due to the fact that with the thunderstorms moving in and the dry vegetation, we're going to have to watch for the chance for some isolated fires starting with the lightning. So again, over the coast range and over the uh, Cascades points down towards Bend, even Medford included in that red flag warning. So as we take